What's up, foodie fam? Like, Luke, why are you whispering? I'm not. I'm just hungry. So welcome back to our channel, guys. So today we are at Shake Shack, baby. Shake Shack. Shake Shack, baby. So they got the new s'mores shake. So that's the, the feature. The feature. And then they have some new, uh, I think, pink lemonade. Some sort of lemonade that we're going to be doing jump off here. So right off the rip. And obviously, I mean, come on, guys. You know, I had to. So nice size cup. I don't know how many ounces that is. Uh, got the, I'm assuming that's graham cracker on top. Got all the good good down here with a little bit of whipped cream. Or it might, it actually looks kind of like marshmallow. I don't know. But it looks good. Usually they fill this up with like whipped cream and stuff. But that's okay. We're going to make it rain either way. Down the hatch, guys. Shake shack, baby. That's good. That was better. All right, you got to get the graham. You got to get the cram crackers in there. Mm. Yeah, let's get this out of the way. What is this? Training wheels? We don't need training wheels around here, son. Let me just get that money, the money sip. We're going to start doing money sips around here. Yeah, Shake Shack, s'mores milkshake, new milkshake. The money, the money sip, go on the top. Go from the top to bottom. Might be easier if you just mix it all up. Oh yeah, okay. Approved, approved. I'm trying to be a little quiet because, let me move it. Because I'm parked at Brown University, one of their like, faculty parking lots because anybody from Rhode Island knows that the parking situation on Thayer Street near Brown University and RISD nice try not gonna happen let me, let me let me wet my whistle with this whoa <clears throat> that is nice <laughs> I wasn't expecting it for it to be that tart you gotta let that mellow a little bit. Let the ice uh, do its thing. And then what I did is I just got I just got regular. I didn't go I didn't go ham, guys. I don't know what happened to the patty right there. The patty's separating. It's getting a little little patty divorce. We'll see what we have here. Did they put the sauce? Could I should I ask for more sauce? That's okay though. Shake Shack down the hatch. Mmm. The last burger I had at Shake Shack was like the, the mushroom one. I think it has like truffle some, something in it. Mmm. These are good. These kind of remind me of the... Uh, I don't know what you want to call these. But I haven't had these in a long time. One thing that I like about the bags, right? Luke ready to go. is that there's enough room in here that they put they put one of these guys in there with both of my drinks and it ran also guys oh my god that is good though ah, that's a summertime drink a little vodka <coughs> welcome to the Welcome to the upstairs of the Shake Shack. Shake Shack, baby. Uh, a little Vatsky in there will definitely bring that home. So make sure you guys order. I mean, I don't know if it's like this at every Shake Shack around the country. But the one here, I tried going earlier in the day. And they just weren't having it. I think I felt so bad for the staff. I felt so bad for the staff, man. They were just, 
first of all, I got there right when they opened, right? I like to do that till I get it out of the way. Hopefully there's no rush. Doors locked. I go, uh-oh. No bueno. New shake just came out. I'm trying to get it for the Rody Foodie Fam. The foodie fam out there. So that you guys can order in your town and we can just drink it together in these videos. That's what mukbang is all about, guys. I'm just gonna do this. Mm. It's melting fast enough where I can do that. So I get in there, I'm trying to open the door. No bueno. So I go, okay, you know, maybe maybe uh, you know, some restaurants. I don't probably not chains, but like local restaurants, they shut down all all week, like either before and after Fourth of July, right? Mm. By the way, look at this. Look how cute this is. Little napkin. Salt, pepper, ketchup. Definitely gonna need a little ketchup for the dip dip. So, I go, let me, let me make sure. So I, I call the number. By the way, I've never done this. A little ketchup per fry. But I don't have a lot of real estate right here. To pour it out and do the dip dip. So call the number. And first of all, I don't know if all shakes actually like this, but when you call in, they're like, just go online. That's basically what the recording said. Just go online. Alright. But then it says uh, if you want to speak to a manager or or please hold for the manager's desk. I don't know if that's some sort of like corporate, like makes uh, makes me feel good that I'm going straight to the manager thing, but psychological move, but I like it. So the first time I call, it goes to the voicemail. I go, all right, they're definitely not open. As I'm walking away, on the corner of my little, little foodie peripheral, I see somebody moving. I go, oh, snap. Maybe they went to the bathroom, something like that. I thought that was Brown University security. <laughs> so I call again. I go, let me try one more time. A guy answers. Forget his name. Young kid. I was like, my man's coming up on the world. He's already a manager. Good for him. Young voice. He goes, yeah, we're open for regular hours. I'm like, the Providence location, right? He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I go back to the door. Locked again. I go, man, am I being punked? Is this a roadie foodie, like, prank? So, long story short, it wasn't a prank. These poor kids inside were just humming and buzzing, trying to get to-go orders. Like So, like, as it turned 11, they already had the bags lined up of food of people that had ordered online. Man, I felt so... I go stand in line to order. I felt so bad. I was sitting there... I was sitting there... Guys, by the way, Rody Foodie started because I worked in restaurants and I, I've worked in almost every single aspect of a restaurant. So I know the dilly. Standing there 10 minutes, they were just too busy. I felt so bad that I just said, you know what, I'll come back later. And I'm glad I did because this is popping off. But the moral of my story is, guys, just have patience. It's a crazy time right now. Trust me, most of their setups are not set up to be like 100% online ordering. 
takeout delivery, things like that. So just be patient. Also, I'm not, I'm not a type of person that likes to order on the app. Am I just old school like that? I like to call it in or I like to just come order in person. Very few times do I um, order on the app. Because let's be honest, then they're asking you to create an account. Then you got to come up with a password. I just don't have time for that. I just don't. I got to remember the password. I don't even remember like my Gmail password. My Gmail password and all my other website passwords are so strong. You know why? <laughs> because I don't remember. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, I can't be downloading every app for every restaurant I go to, every fast food place. I just, I just can't do it. So again, guys, moral of the story, be patient. I should ask for more of that uh, Shake Shack burger sauce because we're getting a little dry dry on the ends here. Mm. Again, I felt so bad that I just didn't even add. I was just like, yep, yeah, here's my card. Just charge me whatever you want. Let me get out of your way because you guys, they had it all sectioned out. They're like Grubhub, Uber Eats, DoorDash, call-ins, pickups, online orders. And all the delivery guys were in there just waiting for like orders to pop out. I felt so bad for them, man. That's why I was just like, yep, here's my card. Charge me wherever you want. Let me get out of the way. Couple of mistakes I made. I should have got the double. I figured this was going to be like filling me up. So I would get the double. Also, and I must be, you know what? I just confused this place with Smashburger. That's why. <clears throat> okay. So I told the lady, I was like, I'll take a, one of your Shake Shack, whatever, the, the original. Because I like to order the original sometimes because I just want to know what you're known for. Like what's been around since day uno. Man. She was quick. She's like, it's a la carte. And I was like, oh, damn. You know, and pre the craziness, she probably would have taken her time kind of explaining it. But right now, the way that she answered, I was like, yeah, absolutely. Yep. Let me just get fries on the side then. Hmm. Let's just drive really slow next to me. Oh, guys, let me just finish this. I'll be right back. Mm. Mm. Oh, did I spill myself? Probably. There's a car over here just staring at me. I'm almost done with the foodie fam, son. Don't worry about it. So, I probably will. It'll probably be the very first time that I get. Well, no, I've actually been shushed away a couple of times. Mm. But I've never been kicked out of somewhere yet. Will that happen eventually? Absolutely. thumbs up some people were asking me to start like a grading system my thing guys is like I don't want to be known as like a critic <clears throat> I don't want to be known as like a reviewer because I'm not really reviewing this I'm just like showcasing it I just want to enjoy it with the foodie fam you know what I mean People are like, you should start doing scale because everyone's palates are so different. 
And I don't know about you guys, but my palate changes hourly. And what I mean by that is, you ask me one second if I want Taco Bell, I'll be like, dude, you're disgusting. I don't want that. Next minute, you ask me at a certain time of the day, hey, you want to grab some TV? I'll be like, who's driving? You fly, I buy, I buy, you fly. I fly, you buy. I don't care what it is. Let's just do it. Especially after that new grilled cheese burrito that just came out. I worry you. Oh man, this is if you guys like that that tartness of a pink lemonade. This, this is this is where it's gonna be. This is where it's gonna be slapping right here. So I don't know if I'm gonna do a grading system, guys. I I like to. I want Roadie Foodie to be a showcaser. I don't know if that's even a word or if that's even a if that's even a thing or not. But I want Roadie Foodie to be just a not displayer. What's the word? Yeah, the showcaser. I don't know. You know, let's just let's just get the food. Let's eat it. Let's talk about it. I'm not gonna like grade it because again. Even if you and I had the same palette, those palette attributes change by literally, not literally, literally every hour. Just my opinion. Um, and then also, again, even some folks like certain things, some don't. Again, I've told you guys a story before. You would have put a lobster roll in front of me 15 years ago, I would have thrown it out the window. Now, I will I would literally fly out the window with it to catch it in my mouth. <laughs> That's me. Also, I do want to announce, too, that... Um, uh, that we did do... <laughs> we did do our first unboxing video, so we'll be posting that very soon. We did that with the great folks over at Snack Crate. So uh, we try a bunch of like treats and snacks from old Canada. And Lindsay is just, uh, Lindsay thinks that every single person in Canada speaks French. And I tried to explain to her like, no, stop it. It's one province of Quebec that speaks that they're French Canadian. The rest of the country speaks English and they speak English there too. But she's just, she's dead set on this thing that every Canadian speaks French. So, oh, a bunch of, got a bunch of kids behind me. Good kids around here too, man. Great kids. Especially the RISD kids. They're very like artistic and very, um, I just love the, the, uh, the vibe that they have here. The vibe in Providence over by College Hill is absolutely phenomenal. Um, but Lindsay thinks that everybody in Canada is French and, or speaks French. So sorry about the way that she's stereotyping the whole country in that video. And then we also did the twice, the twice, the twice. Oh my God. Not twice, Lupe, twice. There we go, the twice. <gasps> I can't say it, now it's like stuck in my head. Twice, there we go. I was throwing an O in there. So we do the two times hot, essentially, noodle challenge, and man, that's just an embarrassing video, but I'm still gonna post it. I was debating on posting it. I really was. I was gonna tell Margarita, like, Margs, let's just do it again. Uh, but that's what's that's what's fun about the foodie fam, right? Like we just give it to you guys raw. Uh, these videos are very minimally edited. Sometimes the only times we really edit is to like cut the front and the end of it. And if somebody drops a curse word, um, or if there's you know a huge pause uh, in between talking. But if there's something going on, then I'll, I'll let it go. But we we try to edit these very minimally. Um, eventually we'd like to put some graphics on maybe we'll do like an intro we are working with uh, a local designer to get an intro and outro for our videos and then also we are look working with someone to uh, do some fun merch for uh, we might have some t-shirts 
I don't know if we're gonna start an online store. We might just do, uh, take it, you know, via Venmo or Cash App or PayPal, uh, just to like test it out. See if you guys even want it. If you guys don't want it, I mean, we're definitely gonna wear it. Uh, maybe we'll do some giveaways on the Instagram. Maybe we'll do a couple photo shoots and then you guys will let us know if you like them or not. Um, but that's all really I have for you guys. This is really good. It's really tart. So I don't know what your level of pink lemonade is. I like it. I'm going to finish this. I'm just getting a little full. Because I'm not going to lie. I, I had a snack before this. <laughs> you know when you're so hungry that you need to like eat before eating? <laughs> or let me know if you guys have done this. How about this? I got to start asking you guys questions at the end of the videos. So you guys, so we can start some fun dialogue. But have you ever... Have you ever stopped by a place before going to a place to get something to eat? And what I mean by that is you're, you're on your way to a restaurant, but you get something from like McDonald's. Or if you go, let's say it's a place that, uh, let's say it's two fast food places, right? It, but it's way over town and you're right next to a McDonald's. You stop by, get a quick, quick double cheeseburger. On the way, because it's like a 10, 15 minute drive to go to like Chick-fil-A or something. I have definitely done that. And this is what I do too. This is a pro tip for me is I always get an extra item. If I don't do the eating before eating, I get an extra item, right? Usually it's like a 99 cent menu item uh, so that I can enjoy something on the drive back home. So that way I don't eat my whole meal on the way back home. But we've been doing these things where like we just park in the parking lot and we just scarf it down watch a mukbang video of some of our other uh, favorite mukbang folks and also let us know who your favorite mukbang uh folks are we have reached out to pr gang uh b loves life is one of our favorites we've had some dialogue with her uh we've you know we've kind of set it up where if she's ever in rhode island she's she wants to do a video with us so you guys want to start sending her messages be like it's time to go to rhode island son but we're also willing to travel i know i think that they live in ohio that's a what one day uh 12 hour drive i'm down for that i love road tripping so uh but i'll leave you guys with that because i have another brown university vehicle circling me and uh i'm pretty sure that i'm on somebody's radar right now uh, i love you guys again this was really good the s'mores so make sure you get the s'mores milkshake the new one at shake shack also somebody in the comments said that be good had a really good sh uh, uh shake no 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 oh you said that they had a really good chipotle chicken sandwich is that what you said i don't know we're, we're having a really cool dynamic where a lot of comments are starting to come in now so we're trying to keep track of it in our heads but until next time guys like uh please like the uh, uh videos if you can't always too just watch the whole video uh comment obviously let's have some fun on there we are very active in the comment section we are very active on instagram and we are extremely active on our facebook page we do have a tiktok and a twitter not so much on those yet hopefully when the foodie fam has more time and you know if these videos start uh if this channel starts blowing up a little bit we can start you know uh i know some of the foodie fam has been talking about hopefully uh, going part-time on their on their day job and then putting more time and focus on our channel, which would be cool, right? But what comes first, the chicken or the egg? So, you know, we, we're going to do as much as we can with the time that we have uh, until the channel is, like, sustainable. And then, I mean, once that happens, guys, the quicker we grow, the more that we can just focus all on the channel, which I think is really cool. We're going to be shooting our first vlog next weekend. So that's a lot of pressure on me because we haven't done a vlog and I don't know how to really edit a vlog. So there's not going to be a lot of graphics and writing on the on the thing. There might just be a bunch of cutscenes, like, ah, ah, ah. But we'll try to edit it in a way that it looks vloggy. Uh, we're basically going to be doing a Providence food tour and kind of going around the city of Providence. So we're really excited to, uh, that's going to be with myself, Margarita, and Maddie. Maddie, you've seen her at uh we did the vonda the italian restaurant on location video together so uh she's extremely busy she's on tv and radio so she's like the queen of all media or the uh, i'm sorry what do i like to call it the princess of all media so until next time guys love you shake shack how are you uh be well eat well
You guys know the, the Holy Trinity. And take care of each other. All right, ciao.